welcome back to another beautiful, amazing, whatever you want to call it, video. Today, I'm back. We're doing Bible study Saturdays with Brother Gio, and we also have a special guest today, Brother Javé, with us. Uh, last week, we went over um, John chapter 1 up to verse 34, and today, we're just going to be doing the rest. Uh, to start off, we're going to do a little quick prayer, and then we're going to dive into it. The prayer will be led by Brother Gio. Oh, I get to pray. That's fine. I love talking to the Lord. <laughs> All right, let's go to it. Um, Father in heaven, we come before your throne, Lord God, and we sit at your feet with the desire to learn more about you, with the desire to come closer to you, with the desire to drink from your well, Lord God, that never runs dry. Father, our aim and goal is to worship you with all that is within us, to honor you, to exalt you above all other names, O oh Lord. So, Father, as your children gather in your name, Father, we pray that you would be there in the midst as your word says. Speak to us, Holy Spirit. Allow the words from the page, Lord God, to lift, lift off the page and into our hearts, Lord God, that we will be changed and transformed, Lord God and not be the same person who we were before, Father. We thank you for your hand, your grace and mercy that has kept us through the night and allowed us to see this day, Father God. May, our, may us as brothers continue to sharpen each other, Lord God. I thank you. Have your divine way. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right, so you got your list? Um, of stuff that I learned last week? Yeah. Yeah, so shoot me the list of the stuff because, like I said, the objective was to, as we go through this, to write down things that we learned about Jesus, right? Yeah. So <clears throat> hit me, hit me with your list. What you got? Okay. Um, I learned that what's the cause Jesus was the word because remember, um, with like the first two scriptures, we were trying to figure out exactly what the word is because it says in the beginning was the word, but then the Bible was not created in the beginning, so we found out that Jesus is the word. Um, uh, he made everything on earth. Uh, he's the light. He's the Lamb of God that takes um, the sin away from the world. And um, Jesus was baptized by John. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Good stuff. Good stuff. Okay. Um, let's get right to it then. All right. So, verse 35 um, says Again, the next day after John stood. And two of his disciples, oh, okay, so just let me go back really quick. So we wrapped up, we finished off with Jesus being baptized by John. And we saw the spirit descending from heaven and resting upon Jesus, right? right. And John is saying that I, I bear record of this, that he is truly the son of God. And so now we pick up in verse 35. It says, again, the next day after John stood and two of his disciples... Uh, and looking upon Jesus as he walked, he saith, Behold the Lamb of God. And the two disciples heard him speak, and they followed Jesus. Now these are John's disciples, right? Not Jesus' disciples. He didn't he didn't go out and gather his crew just yet. Right, right. Verse 38 says, Then Jesus turned and saw them following, and saith unto them, what seek ye? I'm reading from the King James Version. Do you, do you have King James, um, Ezra? Yeah, I got it open right now. Okay. What seek ye? And they said unto him, Rabbi, which is to say, being interpreted, Master, where dwellest thou? Verse 39 says, He said unto them, Come and see. They came and saw where he dwelt and abode with, with him that day for it was about the 10th hour. Um, if, I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, right? Um, don't quote me, but I, I feel like the first hour for them is 6 a.m. And every hour after that, like the second hour, third hour. I feel like I read that from someone, but we'll look more into that, just, just in terms of time, um, because when we get to the part where um, it gets dark, after he's on the cross, um, they put emphasis on what time of the day it was because it gets dark at that time of the day and they're like, what's happening? You know, it's just like, it's unusual for it to get pitch black at that time of the day. But let, we'll, I'll, um, 
I'll look more into that. But I feel like I remember it saying 6 a.m. was the first hour. But we'll come back to that, right? Um, so verse 40, it says, One of the two which heard John speak and followed him was Andrew, Simon Peter's brother. He first findeth his own brother Simon and saith unto him, We have found the Messiah, which is being interpreted the Christ. And he brought him to Jesus and when Jesus beheld, he said, Thou art Simon, the son of Jonah. Thou shalt be called Cephas, which is by interpretation a stone, my brother. For me, what that is saying right now is exactly what Javan and I are doing for you. We saw Jesus. We fell into a relationship with him. And then we go grab you by your hand and be like, yo, yo, we just found Jesus, bro. Pull up. Yeah. Let me show you. Let me show you, right? That's exactly what's happening right now. And, and, and just to add to that, did you finish there? No, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I was, I was going through my study, study Bible before I left. I thought I was going to be home back in time, but it's all good. Um, uh, Jesus... Um, when it comes to Peter, um, his name was Cephas, right? But he changed it to, uh, to Peter. So Jesus saw where he was, but spoke to where he would be, right? And he does the same with us. Um, when we go back, when we go further into the scripture, right? Peter, Jesus says, Peter, um, you are the, I will build my church, which means rock, right? Up on that, up on the right. rock, I will right. build my church. Right? Cephas, Cephas was stone. Uh, <laughs> right, right. So he spoke to who he would be, even though in the present, when he acknowledged him right here in the scripture, he wasn't yet where God would have him to be. So Jesus does this, God does the same with us, that he, wherever we are, he speaks to where we will be. He speaks to what, what we will become. Right? And that's, that's so uh, encouraging to know that, that God has so much more for me. Right? He wants me to be so much more. Um, and so that, that really spoke to me um, when I read it this morning. As Gio was saying, we are to be eager like them too. Andrew, right, as soon as he had that encounter, he went and he shared it, right? And so, Ezra, that's the same thing you got to do. You hear the word, you grab your friends, you grab your boys, and you share it, right? Uh, that's crazy. Imagine if we did this with everything, like not just in a spiritual sense, but like, financially like 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 bro i just found this out man come come sit down at the table with me Let, let's let's eat together let's learn how to get this money together or like let's just like it's so crazy like not to go all the way off on a tangent but it's crazy how we can easily come together to go loot a target go burn down a cop car you know and it's, it's easy to come together when there's anger involved when there's hate involved when it's something that's going to build you up and uplift you and, 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 and love is involved, I, I just don't get why it's so difficult for us to come together. All right. All right. All right. But um, I, that's, that's real big, man. So you, you, you continue to use this platform <clears throat> as Ron. Uh, I feel like this, like this is almost identical to what Jesus meant when he said he has to leave so that the Holy Spirit could come so that the word like the Holy Spirit could be anywhere all over at the same time. Whereas Jesus Christ as a man in the flesh form, he was bound by being in one location at one time. You have the ability to reach millions, bro, the world through your room. You feel me? Like this is so crucial. So as you learn, make sure you have a good understanding of it before you go out because you don't want to lead people with piece a portion of the information you want to give them the full package but that which you learn and you're confirmed you know you're confident that this is what the bible says definitely go out and you you know you have your brothers to you know to help you out with that all right I do that especially, like, i'm oh my bad but i do that especially like i'm very careful with certain things i say like i always like if i don't if i'm not fully aware of something i always do research because i know like um information can easily get misinterpreted sure so sure. I'm very um, aware. I'm very aware of that, and make sure that it's correct. Making sure that all my facts, everything that I'm saying, can be backed up. Absolutely. Jay, you want to say something? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just going to say keep at it as um, you don't even know who you're reaching right now. But I know for sure that you're planting seeds. And we're believing God with you that, that there's going to be an increase. Amen. So keep at it, right? And this is your ministry, bro. You, you probably didn't even realize it. You have your own ministry right here. Like, you don't have to be in church, bro. And like Gio said, you're reaching, you don't know how many people you're going to reach, bro. Like, it, it's endless. So just keep at it. Be consistent with it. And, and trust God as you go along. <laughs> Okay. I'm trying to be consistent with it. Like, I dropped a video yesterday, the video that me and Gio recorded. Um, I already edited that, and I'm dropping that later on today. So I'm just trying to drop, like, two videos each week. Got you. All right. <clears throat> so we see that Jesus meets Simon, and he changes his name from Simon Peter to Cephas, right, which means a stone. And like Gervais said, we'll learn more about with that stone, why he called him a stone, right? Um, verse 43 says, the day following Jesus would go forth into Galilee and find Philip and say to him, follow me. Now, Philip was of Bethsaida, the city of Andrew and Peter. Philip found Nathanael and said unto him, we have found him of whom Moses in the law and the prophets did write, Jesus of Nazareth, the son of Joseph. You see what I'm saying? Like one brother grabbing another brother. That's how it's supposed to be. Um, and then you said unto him, can there any good thing come out of Nazareth? Philip said unto him, come and see. You know, I mean, let's just call it the hood. Jesus came out the hood and um, a very poor town. And they didn't believe that this is how the Messiah would enter into the world and where he would come from. You know, they thought that he would come in on horse and chariots and have angels behind him, some big grand entrance, you know what I mean? And, and, and Jesus decided to come from a lowly town, right? Verse 46 um, says, And Nathanael said unto him, Can there any good thing come out of Nazareth? Philip said unto him, Come and see. Jesus saw Nathanael coming to him and said of him, Behold, an Israelite indeed, in whom is no guile. Nathanael said unto him, Whence knowest thou me? Like, how do you know me? And Jesus answered and said unto him, Before that Philip called thee, when thou was under the fig tree, I saw thee. Nathanael answered and said unto him, Rabbi, thou art the Son of God, thou art the King of Israel. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Because I say unto thee, I saw thee under the fig tree, believest thou? Thou shalt see greater things than these. And he said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Hereafter ye shall see heaven open, and the angels of God ascending and descending upon the Son of Man. Jesus ain't even doing nothing spectacular yet. He just said, Yo, I saw you underneath the tree. <laughs> and boy was like, Okay, I believe, I believe, I believe, I believe. <laughs> And some people are looking for the seat, the red seat to be parted again. Some people are looking for, you know, an angel to appear before them and miracle signs and wonders before they believe. But if you read that part of the scripture that talks about the miracle signs and wonders, it says those things follow after the believers. So you got to believe and then you will see, you know, it's just like... All he said was, I saw you sitting in the fig tree before you even came my way. Yeah. What would it take for your, your, the Ezeron production followers to believe? I think it's going to be a sound word. So as you continue to, to go through this, like you see how John has his disciples, the people who follow him, you're going to have your following. But make sure you're leading them as, like in order for you to lead, you're going to have to follow. All right. So make sure when, you, when they following you, you also follow you leading. You make sure you following Christ so that you can lead them to Him, right? Like, and make sure you keep your head small so it can still fit in that hat. Don't start getting a big head because you start getting followers. You start seeing you got 1.8 million followers, and you're like, oh, you get on. I'm yo, what up, yo? I'm Ezra. We about to study the Bible. Still be yourself, but stay humble. At that point, I'm gonna yeah, stay, stay humble. I'm a, I'm a always stay humble, and. Uh, one thing that always make me stay humble is just looking back how how we was in Guyana. 
That always, yeah. that always make me humble because, like, we was in, like, poor and struggling, but, like, compared to American living, you could say it was poor and struggling. You, you could say that. But we, I was chilling. We never went to bed um, without eating. Life never got cut off. Well, yeah. Blackout was always happening in Guyana, so that was that was regular. It wasn't it wasn't nobody's fault. Like it is something that always happened. Gotcha. But like that was, looking back, stuff like that it always make me humble. I mean, we used to be playing board games. We used to be outside anytime blackout happened. We used to just be chilling. Yeah, but sometimes it's ministry though. It, it... If you're not careful, as you was saying, you kind of you can get a big head. You know what I'm saying? Like you start getting these follows, everybody commenting, everybody sharing your videos. Your subscribers are going up, your likes, your comments are going up, and you start feeling yourself in ministry. That that's real easy, right? And that's where a lot of people fall because it was never about you to begin with. Right. And, and so you got to keep that posture that you know this is not about me. This is all for the glory and honor of God. This is all about advancing His kingdom. So keep that posture. As you grow, no, this is not about me. I know it's, it's not about me at all. Listen, brother, I'm not doing this. For it's, me. it's easy to say now because you, you know, you got like maybe a hundred followers, but we're telling you to brace yourself for when it does come. All right. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm saying I'm, I'm braced now, and if I need help along the way, I'm not gonna try to Oh, you won't have to. I'm going to come find you. I'll punch you in the back of your head. Tell you you calm down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to ask you. No, what you mean? You won't know you being not humble because you're going to be so caught up in yourself. But I'll check you. Don't worry. If I don't get you, Jay going to get you. Definitely. <laughs> All right. Um, But that that's pretty much the chapter. Um. Before before I start talking about the things that I took away, what what – Let's go back to what we learned about Jesus um, from these these last couple of verses. Well, what do you think you learned about Jesus? I learned that like when he came in, he just came in like in a calm, calm way. And where's he from? Um, Jerusalem, right? Or right, Nazareth? No, Nazareth. Nazareth. My bad, Nazareth. Right, right. So who who said that? Um, I think was it. Philip? Philip said, Philip found Nathanael, and he said, verse 45, Philip found Nathanael and said unto him, we have found him of whom Moses and the law and the prophets did write, Jesus of Nazareth, the son of Joseph. So where's Jesus from? What hood? He's from, he's from, he's from Nazareth. He's from dirty Nazareth. Wait, but why, why do you say um Jesus Christ is son? Okay, why do you say um Jesus of Nazareth, the son of Joseph? That's exactly why. He's from Nazareth and his earthly dad was Joseph. Oh yeah. Yeah. I totally forgot my bad. Nah, that's all good. That's what we're here for, bro. I mean, Jesus so, I always associated with Mary. Not too much later dad. Yes. Yeah, well that's you know, because his dad had really nothing to do with him coming into this world and that's that's the whole part about I mean we can go into a big thing with that but I think I'm gonna wait until we get to that part because it's so significant why Mary was impregnated by Jesus before Adam before um Joseph planted his seed inside Mary I'll try to keep it simple because I'm itching to say it but <laughs> but just real simple. Um, but first of all, let's write down your two things you learned. Jesus is from Nazareth and his dad is Joseph, his earthly dad. Yo, Jay, from from a, I guess from a leadership perspective, I just saw this just now. Um, so you see how it says that John had his disciples, right, that follow him? In verse 40, it says, one of the two which heard John speak and followed him was Andrew, Simon Peter's brother. And then if we keep reading, we realize how now they start following Christ. So you know how some some leaders will be like, oh, you taking my sheep, you taking my followers. And I think because they're, they're ahead, I think that I, you're, you belong to them. And, and John, I believe he was easily humbled and was just like, you know what? 
he oh and remember how we read in the beginning too how he was in the beginning of this chapter how he constantly reminded people that I'm not the Messiah I'm not the Christ I'm the one that comes right. before him but pref- right. but I'm preferred after him like people he's preferred before me so just like yeah. John like, like he John, said, there's a greater one coming yeah. after me yeah I baptize you with water but he will baptize you out with the Holy Spirit mm-hmm. I just I'm just saying that because I actually happened to me where one one pastor felt like like another pastor was like taking me like how you come and cleaning up my church and I was just like what it's not it's not your church <laughs> first of all this is a building and and second of all we are the church so I think I'm free to go wherever I need to go as long as God is leading me there you know what I mean um, I'm I think to- sometimes. Go ahead, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm like simply put, I'm speaking after God. So where the word is, that's where I'm gonna go. Right, right, right. And sometimes leaders become territorial because um, they feel they have invested in you because of that. You need to ride with us till the wheels fall off, for lack of a. Yeah. Um, but we must remember, as leaders, um, and not even just pastors, but. Um, we are caretakers, right? In a sense, we are shepherds, and the people are not our own. They're they're the Lord's, in which He has entrusted us um, to lead them, right? But we must remember that they they are not our own. Right. Like, we didn't pay for them. We didn't buy them. Right? Yeah. Jesus paid the ultimate <laughs> price. So um, we, we must remember, as leaders, where God leads His people. It's where God is leading them. Man, you're not led by man. It's where God leads you. <laughs> like that yeah i i think that like you hit the nail on the head like we supposed to we're supposed to be with them until they retire like it's it's not that's not the way it is right all right but uh i'm trying to think it was so so we learned that uh he was from nazareth he was the son of joseph i'm trying to see if there's anything else that was unfolded um his name was changed. Chaye, he changed his names, right? Why, why do you think that his name was changed? What's so significant about a name? Um, uh, I'll probably say uh, there was probably like a lot of bad have to do with his old name or something like that. I'm not sure. Well, Jay, what, what do you think about the name change, the significance of it? So your name identifies who you are. Um, And earlier, as I was saying, um, when he changed his name from from Cephas to Simon Peter, it spoke to who he would be. The other way around, huh? Cephas to... Yeah, he says, thou art Simon, the son of Jonah. Thou shalt be called Cephas. Cephas, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so your name identifies who you are. So the significance of the name change was, I, I believe, speaking to who he would be, right? Um, and it, with, with God, it's not just merely a name change. It, it cha- he changes your entire being. He changes your character. Um, he changes who you, every bit of you from the inside to the outside, right? Um, and, and that's how it is with God. He may not have not changed your name from Ezra per se, right? Well, your character changed, right? When you have encounters with God and you have experience with God. So I believe that's the significance of it. That's exactly it, bro. That's exactly it. You, you, it's like the scripture says, uh, old things have passed away. Behold, all things are new. Like you're a new being in Christ. Absolutely. Right. You're not you're not that that 12 or 13 year old Ezron that I met. Not even close, bro. You, you, you've you excelled exponentially into this 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 young man. Right. And you're going to continue to grow in Christ and, and be made new day in and day out as long as you stay at his feet, as long as you continue to stay close to him. All right. 
Um, I'm trying to think what else. Go forth in the gallery and find Philip and say, follow me. Yeah, I think that's all we have um, in terms of what we learn. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not sure what. I'm not sure what we can get from this, but the last verse. Oh, no, 49, 49. Nathaniel answered and said unto him, Rabbi, thou art the son of God. Thou art the king of Israel. So those are two more titles that we learn about him, right? There's actually three. I'm sorry, I missed one. There's Messiah, which yeah. is the anointed. And then there's king of Israel and then there's son of God, right? Because we also saw that in verse 45, he was son of Joseph. But now in verse 49, he's the son of God. So we got a couple more titles. We got the Messiah. We have son of, uh, son of God and king of Israel. Um, and then I think the last thing in 51, it says, barely, barely hereafter, you shall see heaven open up and the angels of God ascending and descending upon. So, so Jesus prophesies. He says, hereafter you shall see heaven open and the angels of God ascending and descending upon the Son of Man. Now, I've, I've, I'm going to be honest. I always struggled why they called Jesus the Son of Man. I never understood that. Um, so I'm, I'm hoping in this study that that's something that I would figure out why they call him Son of Man. I, didn't, I never understood that correlation, um, but may, maybe we'll see it as we continue to go on. But that's another title, Son of Man. So he's the Messiah, Son of Joseph, Son of God, Son of Man, and King of Israel. I get all the, um, I understand like all the other names, I feel like Son of Man. So I, really no, I never understood why they called him that. Um, Jay, how about yourself? You, you understood why they called him that? We could look more into it, but what came to mind is that Jesus was on earth. He took on human form. And so I think in terms of relating to us, mm -hmm. um, that was the way that made him more approachable in a sense, right? You think about son of God as, oh, this big figure, right? Or you right. think, let's bring it to our terms, you think about bishop pastor yeah you may be a little bit scared to approach him or right. talk to him because you're like oh he's high in office mm -hmm. right but you can't really relate to him because you're not on his level per se but as son of, of man he, he's in this human form i can relate to him he, he goes through what i go through he feels mm -hmm. what i feel he walks where i walk so he, he 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 can i can relate to him he can relate to me he understands me so that's what comes to mind with that I think I think that actually hits the nail on the head, bro. And 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 it's so crazy because I like how they put the the low title and they couple it with and Jesus couples it with um or joins it to something that's spiritual from a high sense. It says it says you shall see heaven open up and angels of God ascending and descending upon the Son of Man. So you're talking about a lowly person, Son of Man. Somebody like us, angels of God, just ascending and descending upon him. Right. Can you even imagine, like, what that would look like? Like, I, I even think about after Jesus came up out of the water and it says that the Spirit of God came descending upon him as, like, as a dove. Like, that's just to try to envision that, you know, it's just definitely something. Yeah, it's like you can't even something special, man. But good stuff today. Um, I don't know. You have any questions or comments, um, Ezra? Um, no. Nah. Okay. Um, <clears throat> just uh, some more background information about the names and how they mean stuff. Uh, it looks like here in my Bible says John the Baptist means Jehovah. Jehovah is gracious. Um, Cephas is actually Aramaic 
and it, it meant a stone. Um, so you, you'll see as we go, like uh, like old Old Testament man, everybody named everybody's name had a meaning. Everybody. So the the like like Jave said like like Ezron has a meaning to it. it. It has a significance. It's who you are. It's how we identify you, but who you will become and who you are now and will become later on. Um, I think Jesus identifies that as something else, right? It may not have a specific name, but the title is my son, right? Like you are the son of God. Like you, you are, you are his own. And I, I think that that's the significance of it. But, um, other than that, I don't think I have anything else to add that we found. There's only a couple of verses here. And then um, next week, there's only 25 verses, so we should be able to get through it. You know what I mean? Definitely. Yeah. Something that came to mind as we were talking earlier about, and Gio was talking about followers, um, it's important, Ezra, that you stay connected to people that are on a different level than you, or on a higher level, right? Because if, if you're following people that's on the same level, how is it that you're going to grow, right? And so it's important that y y your friends, your peers, not just me and Gio, and not just spiritually too. You, you'll learn this as you get older, right? If you stay connected to people that's on the same level, you, you're not going to grow. So as you grow spiritually, as you grow um, uh, in, you know, regular life, always try to stay connected to people that know more, right, that are doing more, and that will push you to to aspire to do the things that they're doing. Right? I'm kind of doing that now. mainly like the people that I look up to are not on the same level as me at all. Like they're all they're all um doing like same thing that like I want to do like the um the other geo that I know. He's like he's a motivational speaker and an author. And I stay connected with him all the time, always hit him up and stuff like that. Cause he's he's at a level where I want to be, and I know I can easily just learn stuff from him, like learn like exactly what it's for him to get where he is right now, and like either take that similar route or just take a different route and kind of incorporate that and stuff like that. So I all the people that I look up to are not on the same level as me. Good, good. Yo, there's only one OVO Geo though. I know this, yeah. Throw it out there, yeah. Man. <laughs> it's only one, baby. It's only one, right? The name is spelled different. E E O instead. Of yeah, see, like, yeah, it's all good. Don't worry about it. <laughs> so it's only one me. You feel me? It's all good. Don't worry about it. But big, big shout out to him for being an author, man. Is this that? That's big. Like being able to express your thoughts and share it with people. That's huge. So, big shout out to him. But um. I'm I'm good for today. Um, anything else? That's it. Yeah, that's it. We'll be back at it next week with chapter two. You you gotta do your um your, thing, <laughs> do your formal signing off or <laughs> I love I love it I love it. You'll leave me alone. Nah, it's all good. Um, you wanna praise out? Oh yeah. Oh yeah yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, everybody just bow your head, close your eyes. Father, we thank you for this day that you have made. I rejoice to be God and God. We thank you for this day, God, that you have made, God. We just thank you for bringing us together up here to be able to discuss your word, God. We pray that the things we have learned, that we'll be able to continue to dwell more into your scripture, God, and just realize how amazing you are and just realize the stories, God. We pray that we'll come together to not only have fun, not only to fellowship, but mainly to deep, deep um digging your word and be able to learn some more stuff god we pray that we'll be able to use each other as support system as um learning system and really um keep um all of us in check and um and the humble god i pray that i'll be able to continue to stay humble because i know as time progress as everything come in it's so easy to go on a different path and forget the whole purpose of what i'm doing god but i but I pray that I'll be able to not forget that. I pray that I'll be able to stay humble. And I pray that my peers that I have around me will always keep me in check. And I pray that I'll be able to continue to do the job that you have sent me to do, God. And I pray that Brother Gio and 
and Brother Jave do the same thing, God. We pray that we'll be able to work in our purpose. We pray that we'll be able to come together and discuss your word, God. In Jesus' name, bless your name. Amen. 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 Appreciate your prayers, brother. Uh, you uh, young men, until next time. <laughs> That's it for the video, guys. I hope you guys like this video. I hope you guys subscribe and make sure you share it. Um, when you was just watching this video, I just hope that you just have your Bible or like open the Bible lab. Just take some notes and jot down as if you were with us right now so you could learn and just come along on this journey with us. Uh, now, this is my exit, guys. Peace. Just remember, love, positivity. Bye.